But let's begin in downtown, where culture and entertainment meets hustle and bustle. There is a certain flavor here, and no, it's not the smog. For sports fans, there is the Staples Center. Magic Johnson will greet you on the way in. For Hoops fanatics, it's a dream. Both the Lakers and Clippers call Staples home court. And you can also take a peek at a hockey game. It's true, LA actually has a hockey team. The LA Kings knock the puck around Staples as well. Now if you don't have a car and live or work in downtown, there is plenty of public transportation, which helps because about a mile away from the Staples Center, there is the LA Music Center and Walt Disney Concert Hall. The flawless LA Philharmonic entertains inside this gorgeously designed building. You can also catch an opera, play, or concert. Check out the Music Center website for concert information. Downtown LA is so big, you might need to hit an information booth from time to time. One of the most famous LA landmarks is City Hall. You may have seen it destroyed in the original 1953 War of the Worlds. It's actually still standing and well worth a visit. And almost every day of the year, you will walk past a movie set. Ask nicely, and maybe you can be an extra. And if all that's not enough, coming soon, LA Live, a 27-acre, $1 billion sports and entertainment district. LA Live will cover more than six city blocks, but if you don't want or need all that glitz and glamour, just drive a couple miles south and soak in the downtown skyline. It is one of a kind. Now, I simply love Beverly Hills. This is one of those places where a lot of the movie stars live, work, and play. And every year, thousands of tourists line the street of Rodeo Drive. They look in the storefronts at stores like Tiffany & Company, Versace, and Gucci. Now, they probably can't afford anything inside the stores, but you can always go in and pretend like you have a lot of money. At least that's what I do. Rodeo Drive is one of the most celebrated and exclusive shopping streets in the world. Here you will find the best in French fashion, Italian designer boutiques, and world-class jewelers. But a word of warning, keep your credit cards at home and stick to coffee and window shopping only. Every year, hundreds of thousands of people visit Griffith Park. Covering more than 4,200 acres, it's the largest municipal park in the United States. Here you can hang near the Hollywood sign, get a history lesson, go horseback riding, or maybe just sit back and enjoy the breathtaking views. There are plenty of them. The views alone have tourists reaching for their cameras. Many enjoy looking at the lavish homes beneath the famous Hollywood sign. Griffith Park is located at the eastern end of the Santa Monica Mountains. There are plenty of hiking and horse trails. In fact, the Sierra Club has been leading free evening and weekend conditioning hikes for nearly 50 years. And let's not forget about the Griffith Observatory. It's recently renovated and is a magnificent way of studying the stars. In the sky, that is. The observatory was featured in the classic film Rebel Without a Cause, and the park itself has served as a backdrop for several movies, TV shows, and commercials. Welcome to Hollywood, guys. All right, you might get a different kind of crowd hanging out in Hollywood, but it's fun. The street performers are, well, unique, and it's kind of cool stepping on Steven Spielberg's hand. The Walk of Fame is a chronological history of the Hollywood-based entertainment industry. The Kodak Theater is perhaps the crown jewel. Since opening in 2001, the Kodak has hosted the Academy Awards, the ESPYs, and the American Idol Finals. Bottom line, this is a great place to take a walk and do some serious people watching. This is Venice Beach. Some people describe it as a carnival-like atmosphere 365 days a year. And really, it's the only place I know where you can play paddle tennis, eat cheap pizza, listen to music, listen to reggae, and get a tattoo. It is truly a wild, fantastic scene. On LA's west side is Venice Beach. Venice is different, no other way to describe it, but it's a lot of fun. Since changing its name from Ocean Park to Venice in 1911, this area draws anywhere from 50,000 to 150,000 tourists on weekends. Best advice, get there early. Now remember, if you come to LA, you're gonna have to find yourself a nice pair of chic sunglasses because the sun is out all the time. Like these, take a look at these. You got black and brown ones, but look at this. What do you think? This is like Elvis meets Elton John. Hopefully you'll pick out a better pair when you're here.
Besides paddle tennis, pizza shops, t-shirt stores, and Muscle Beach, there is the beach itself. Rollerblading and surfing are popular, but if that's not your thing, a latte and a walk on the sand isn't half bad either. We are now at the Santa Monica Pier, which turns 98 this year. Happy birthday. There's all kinds of things to do here. First of all, you get the great cool ocean breeze if you're hanging out with your friends and family. There is shopping here, there are rides. There's also the Bubba Gump Shrimp Company where you can get baked shrimp, fried shrimp, shrimp scampi. You know the line from the movie. Yes, the Bubba Gump Shrimp Factory has huge appeal. But what people really love about the pier is it's open 365 days a year and admission is free. Like Venice Beach to some degree, it is a carnival-like atmosphere. Like Griffith Park, it too serves as a backdrop for magazine layouts, movies, TV shows, and commercials. When the weather is warm and maybe you've had a tough shift, trust me, this is a great place to just unwind and chill out. And just about a mile east of the historic pier, you have the Santa Monica 3rd Street Promenade. One of the things that makes this place so cool is it is actually closed to car traffic. One of the few places in Los Angeles where you won't see much traffic. There are also hundreds of restaurants and shops here. There's entertainment. There's movie theaters. Come here early in the morning and you might just spend the whole weekend here. Known for its twice weekly farmers markets and close proximity to the beach, the promenade is a taste of everything. From New York style pizza to just taking in a movie. The promenade offers a relaxing atmosphere amidst LA's day-to-day -day chaos. Well, we sure hope you enjoyed Nurse TV's tour of Los Angeles. If your traveling needs bring you to LA, remember, you can't complain of boredom. Happy travels. From Los Angeles, I'm Mark Prescott for Nurse TV.